As of tonight, the state says it has distributed nearly 21 million masks to schools across California. This is new video tonight of those masks moving out of warehouses for distribution. The Sacramento City Unified School District got enough to give 20 masks to each staff member, contracted uh, provider, volunteer, and substitute staff. Masks for students are expected to arrive as soon as next week. And CBS 13's Madison Keevy is in Sacramento live now, getting answers on what parents need to know as many students will likely have to re wear PPE. Madison. Yeah, when the N95s or the KN95s were first created, these weren't meant to be reworn. You wear them once, you toss them. But over the last couple years in the pandemic, the CDC has created guidelines on what to do if rewearing is the only option. Now, these guidelines are specific to healthcare facilities, but they give us insight and guidelines of our own when the only thing we can do is rewear. More N95 masks just arrived in the Twin Rivers Unified School District warehouse. It costs millions in COVID relief dollars to pay for the weekly shipments of masks for 24,000 students and 3,000 staff. And even still, district leaders say it won't mean a new N95 mask every day. I will take any level of protection that I can get. When school lets out at California Middle School, you see a mix of N95s and surgical masks. One parent explained his son's routine. He um, actually stores it inside one of those uh, paper bags. He tosses it in that bag for, uh, I think it's 24 hours, and then he just, he, he'll reuse it for like a couple days. That's actually what the CDC says to do. Getting answers if N95 masks can be reworn. According to the CDC, rotate N95 masks every day. Store the worn N95 mask in a paper bag for at least 24 hours between wears. Only touch the N95 mask straps to put on and remove the mask. Always wash hands before and after N95 mask removal. And above all, check the fit and function before every wear. When you are encountering COVID, COVID's going to land on top of your mask. And so that makes them soiled. And so you don't want to use soiled product every single day. That's why when these students get home, it's best to drop their masks in a paper bag for a day. Once the mask is on, it's not unsafe to wear for long periods of time, according to this pharmacist, but it can be tiring, especially for younger students. I definitely would recommend if you can go outside and you know, take it off, take a dip, deep breath of air and come back in. Now, the CDC's guidance again for those healthcare facilities is to only wear that N95 mask up to five times. But again, it really comes down to, you know, the wear and tear. If it holds up past that, it is okay to wear if you're doing some of those steps, like putting it in a paper bag. Now, Twin Rivers Unified School District says they're working to get masks that will fit younger students and kid sizes of those N95s. And here within the last hour, I checked Amazon just to get an idea if you wanted to buy those that are for you know, kids sizes and you still can. It ranges from anywhere from 30 upwards of $80. But again, what these districts are giving out are free. So it just really depends on if families want to spend that money and how often they'd like their student to be wearing that new N95.